Hey guys, so today's tutorial will be on the iPhone 4, 501, Untutter with Corona, and Furious Mod for the Unlock. Um, this one has the Baseband 410, it was uh, from 4.3.5, and there's all problem. There might be a lot of problem if you guys try to update through iTunes and it's giving you an error. Um, 1600, I believe. Um, if that happened for the 1600, um, going through the uh, iBooty from the Snowbreeze, uh, not uh, wouldn't work. And um, you have to go through the uh, host file and remove any code for the gs.apple.com. Remove all that. At the moment, Apple still signing the 501, so it should work without the um, those code. Um, here you see it's running on T-Mobile 501. Then it's saying Carrier Unlock for 11.0 and Baseband 410. This one um, was on the Apple and Berry website saying the ultra uh, the Gabby sim would work for baseman 410 um, elsewise I have another iPhone I will show later um, how to un unlock it and still work but it was on a different baseband uh, so what you need is a custom IPSW um, you can use snow breeze and the original uh, 501. Uh, do that, it will preserve the basement, whichever one you have, it's either 5159, uh, 210, 310, or 410. 411 at the moment, no possible way. Uh, so after you've done the restore, um, go through all the screen, the you know the ISO 5 uh, welcome screen. Going through all that, set up your phone. Um, it should um, tutter. Do, 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 do. Oh, I know. Um, when you do the uh, Ultra Snow and doing a custom IPSW, it'll give you a file called iBooty. It'll be on your desktop. It will show iBooty for 501. Let me show you. Okay, upload that file. Okay, now I show you it's iBooty version 2.3. Select your device, select iPhone 4, and click start. Once it tutter up, um, your Cydia would work. Clicking on Cydia. Um, for your first user, click on user and then click OK accept. Let it go through the down, download, and everything. It'll tell you to do a complete. You can do that. Let it go through a closed studio and then you reopen. It will do all the checking, all the updates. Let it go through that and we'll continue. At the bottom you see search, tap on that and search for Corona. And I already installed but I'll show you, just click it. It'll say Corona 501 on Tutter and then you click install. Once installed it asks you to reboot and then you know then everything should be working. It should boot up and then City should work every time you restart, turn off or anything. So that's all done. Okay. For the uh, for the phone, um, you have to take the SIM card out before you install the Furious mod. For Furious mod, give me a second. You have to go to Manage, go to Source, click Edit, and click Add. In here, you type in. Cydia dot furious mod dot com and you click add source 
wants to go through the download and done page. Give me a sec. Okay, and you should see it in the front screen, Furious Mod. Click on Furious Mod and click on Furious. Um, the updated version is 2.0.0. That one works with the 4.10. Uh, you click install. Um, the theme is still the new update. It doesn't require you to reboot your phone or respring. Um, after you install and go and go back to this page, hold the on and off button. Slide off, and then it'll power off. Once it power off, slide your SIM card, um, whatever prior provider you have, and the Gabi SIM. Slide it in and turn it back on. And once it's done, let me show you while it's rebooted. So. Reboot, same thing as power off. My Gabby Sim is already in, it's in the slot already. So, let it reboot and it should appear on soon. All right. <clears throat> okay, click the step, slide to open. Now give it a second. <laughs> 